Uh, good morning. Um, it is 9.06 a.m. Thursday, uh, June 30th, I believe, 2022. So, uh, after my uh after my postings last night and then you know the the uh, connections that i was making between you know um basically so-called um deactivated uh satellites and then how hackers can hack the satellites and then also knowing that satellites are built with um near infrared light and able to transmit uh, frequencies um, from space to Earth. Um, satellites are also able to, um, you know, basically cast a broad, um, you know, um, um, spectrum of light over a large space of, uh, a large area. Um, then, you know, also correlating, um, why digital cell towers can't actually be seen well how certain how you know there are augmented reality apps that basically um display the view of digital cell towers and cell towers that are transmitting data but they do not have a physical location um the only way you'll be able to see these um digital cell towers is if you're using an augmented reality app augmented reality app architecture of radio um, displays, you know, these unknown carrier cell towers, which were originally first publicly um, um, what you call it, um, they were first publicly um, acknowledged back in 2014 by a CEO who um, who basically created like the first crypto phone. And um, the, his crypto phone um, actually had picked up on these digital, you know, um, cell towers. And it was, I think the crypto phone was supposed to be like one of the most secure phones um, created at the time. And his crypto phone actually picked up on, you know, digital cell towers. Now, after... Um, you know, and then also with my, you know, understanding or, or you know, my um, coming into knowledge of, you know, like um, photo, I think it's called um, photo biomodulation. I think that's what's been basically the use of light that can penetrate through the skin, through the skull and um, into any, you know, deep surface of you know, the body, particularly talking about the brain, how they can actually change um, specific, um, you know, um, connections in the brain. They can disable or enable um, parts of the brain. They can um, change the the functioning of certain um, um, neural activities in your brain. They can um, even if you take like a like a, a device that can tra that can um, transmit a a near infrared light and couple it with a artificial intelligence or some type of coding software and remember um there are these things i, I don't fully know what they are but gans GANs are is a type of artificial intelligence that can generate images um, based off of multiple, multiple pictures. And then they could create, like, let's say if um, with the technology of GANs, G-A-N-S, um, it, it's an abbreviation for something, but I forgot what, you know, the full, what the full acronym means or the full um, thing is. But basically, if you were to take, like, 10 pictures of 10 different people right that ai that software it can actually generate one person's face based off of those 10 different people meaning you can actually create fake people right you can create fake people and then with that being said with um you know um the technology that's that's already actively 
in use today, like when you see in movies that they can generate a whole city or population of people and make it seem like it's something real. Um, they can place you in an environment that's not necessarily real, even though it feels real. Um, because remember, we're talking about um, the manipulation of the central nervous system. So that also includes your sensory nerves. And when this is all going, everything I'm saying is going to lead up to something. So when they can place you in, you know, uh, uh, like an environment, hey, let's think about the metaverse. <laughs> the metaverse in itself is basically just like that, you know, um, it's just that like in this sense, like today, right now, at least based on what they're um, allowing the public to see is like you create your own own avatar or character um maybe it may you know it may just be like a cartoon or it might look a little bit more like you but trust me this artificial intelligence and all this um image generated stuff is a lot more it's a it, this technology is a lot more advanced than the public actually knows you know so um but of course you know we're talking about secret society who is you know basically um doing a lot more things in the world than anybody ever can like fully understand or or you know believe really because you know they'll just say oh that's just that's 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 ludicrous that's sci-fi that's you know that's impossible and i'm just like man look you're not doing the research that i'm doing if you want me to show you some things i will show you how they're doing these things I might not fully understand because I'm not a tech expert, but trust and believe if I were to get at least three, give me at least two people, two other people who are in the tech industry. And I and I and, and if they didn't know that this that nefarious things was happening with this technology and I showed them what I found, they would probably be able to put everything all together um, and just fully and fully, you know, agree and understand like, yeah, you know what? This actually is possible. You know, so now I say all that because twice today, um, let me see, when was the first time I woke up? Um, I think I have, I got woken up the first time uh, I was trying to, let me see. I had went back to sleep. I think I fell back to sleep somewhere around like 4 or 5 a.m. because I was just feeling like a whole lot of um the way they were attacking me it was like you know like i explained it in my last video you know if you take the body in half the right side of the body is like the the aggressive side left side is the passive side we're talking about in spiritual um energy and um yeah and you know i was just it was like the right side of my body you know see like this corner over here it was like the whole right side of my body was just engulfed in this like thermal magnetic energy and it you know it definitely feel like anything of god i, I could tell you that you know you can talk any louder the whole world's gonna hear you talking about me anyway um so um yeah so uh and it's it, it's I, I still can't believe that like well you know what i'm i'm tired of like being surprised at how people truly are because i mean you, you truly don't really know nobody until until they're exposed right now and we're just we're talking about actions i'm not even talking about what a person is thinking we're talking about what people are actually doing you know and the worst part is that you know the they are they are taking people's thoughts and then they're amplifying the thoughts and then even generating the thoughts into like actual videos and images. And then they would share those images, which aren't even things that actually happen, but they can generate the image of a thought that you had and make it into a video. Now, going back to what I was leading all this other stuff to. So the first time I woke up, probably had to be around like, I don't know, maybe six or seven or something like that. And um, 
I was sleeping, you know, here on my bed, my right, the right side of my bed. Um, oh, I gotta, I gotta let people know. Um, this actually does have um some really good um uh, benefits to it, you know. So I've been sleeping on this uh, for for quite some time. This is a um, graphene infused um, mattress protector cover. And um, I kid you not, when I was um, feeling those like attacks on the right side of my body and um, I was just pushing my way to try to just post the videos, right? And then when I finally decided to just lay down, I just remembered, I was like, oh, let me pull back the covers and just lay flat, like lay my whole entire right side against the, the mattress cover. And lo and behold, just like it says, it will absorb, um, it will absorb any energy that you don't necessarily, um, um, that your body doesn't need. It will absorb it and then dissipate it, right? So when I start to lay down like this, as I start to lay down like this, I start to feel all of that heat and pressure just like dissipate, you know, and I felt my body trying to normalize like it was trying to like actually like, you know, I don't know, find some type of balance again in the energy. Like even right now, I'm feeling that that balance come back and you can see it's, it's, it's you know, it doesn't look like anything in particular, you know, really different from any other mattress cover, but um, the graphene that's infused to it, um, people need to remember that graphene is a superconductor and it can also be used to um, absorb uh, harmful energy, you know, electromagnetic energy or radiation in a sense, you know. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this is actually good. You know, uh, if I could, I would probably order another one, get two of them to, just to just to use one as a as a as a as a cover or a blanket or something. But anyway, um, I'm, there's a con there's a company. Well, the website is called Protect a Bed. Uh, I think it's like protect dash a dash bed dot com or something like that. But yeah, it's the the company is called Protect the Bed, and but it's a UK based company. Um, I bought mine. I think I found it on on Amazon, right? I found it on Amazon, and I bought mine through Amazon. Um, I think it was like forty five bucks, and quite honestly, after really putting it to use last night or this morning, it yeah, I would say it, it definitely helps mitigate some of the um the uh energy attack the directed energy attacks i'm not gonna say that you know it will prevent you from um having your frequency resonated i'm not gonna say all that but if you have that feeling like you know like so like right now like what i just did there's a frequency that's attached to my cerebellum like like right back here and as I, um, and what I did was, like I tell you all, Qigong, you know, when you use your energy to create like a magnetic pull, right, you will feel that frequency in your fingers. Because once you start to tense your hand, you basically have created like a magnet with your fingers. So like right now, I could feel the, uh, the frequency going over my like is it goes over my index finger and then over my middle finger and then it's like trying to connect well it it is connected to my um to my cerebellum and then if i pinch when i pinch or like close my hand over that frequency and pull away i feel the actual energy of that frequency and the magnetic pull of that frequency pulling away from the body now it's just the the, the the part that's more annoying is that you know even if you pull it away or or you know you visualize like the signal actually breaking you know um like i told you in a like i mentioned in a, a previous video i've been practicing with this thought of um you know like a command screen you know like in a, in a computer when you're at like that that black command screen 
you know, I I think of something along the lines like um the what's that the less than no it's the 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 less than sign um and let's say it would be like less than um c u t uh underscore s i g n a l s greater than and then I would like like imagine like I press enter or submit. And then after I do that, I I would feel some, you know, like basically it would feel like like popping sounds in the head or um, you'll even feel like something try to like release off of you. Right. I've been practicing that for a while. And then the one thing I realized, I believe it does work. But when you have because you remember, we're talking about. A network it's a network right so it's not just one particular frequency there are several there are several attached to our bodies and you know I also realize that because the handlers um you know they they oftentimes would say he got a lot of frequencies on him you know because it's it's several people watching you know from whatever their remote location is they're watching so they all like it's almost as if like when they find a profile of somebody that they want to watch or whatever they i guess they just they click in on it and i don't know what that is but i don't know maybe their phone or something and they their phone basically taps into that network and then that network sends their their phone signals into your body because you know we're basically considered the um internet of everything now you know uh or ioe you know iot internet of things it would be something just like your cell phone you know wi-fi router you know um anything that's bluetooth those are internet of things but when you think of the um when you think of internet of everything they're talking about literally everything including the human body um but anyway, so I um when I got woken up, I was in they 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 did they were using lucid you know dream manipulations on me and um I felt like I wasn't necessarily sleep not in a deep sleep I was trying to I was trying to go to sleep, but um I never really got to reach that deep sleep because once your brain wave activity starts to get to a point where you start to fall into that deeper sleep or you get closer to that deeper sleep that's when they you know that's when they attack you because your your brain has completely entered into like a um a very much settled and less protected mode so once you enter into that 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 state they lock on to your brain signal and then that's when they start to transmit um, a lot of their coding, you know, that's when if they want to, um, if they want to like transmit, you know, um, like an environment or whatever, um, into your brain, you know, that's when they'll send the signals and stuff, because at that point, you're not necessarily consciously trying to protect your mind at that sense. You know, um, think about it like this. Everybody remembers the movie Inception, right? Watch that movie again. <laughs> I'm going to say that. Watch that movie again. A lot of these films that's coming out, even though they're supposed to be science fiction, they're putting, they're, they're literally giving us a heads up. They're literally telling us, or not even giving us a heads up. They're sensitizing us. A lot of these films are sensitive. The films and TV shows, they're sensitizing us for things that are to come. You know, um, but anyway, so... Um, yeah, I was, uh, I felt myself in that halfway sleep, that lucid dream state. And then all of a sudden I heard, bow, like, you know, um, um, what, what was it? Um, sorry, I got distracted for a second, but, um, yeah, so I heard like, bow, and then it sounded like, and then the funny thing was I heard that loud sound, it didn't necessarily sound like like a Glock, but it was it sounded more like a pistol. And the image that I had in my head was like me getting shot in the head, like on the right side, like right here. 
And then I just heard my mother's voice say, Chris. And then, no, yeah. And then when I woke up from the dream, um, I thought my mother called me. <laughs> Cause I was so tired, I didn't even think to think it was just, you know, um, it was just dream manipulated. So I got up and I went in the room and I asked, and I was like, Ma, did you and she just happened to be up too? So I was just like, Ma, did you call me? She's like, No, I didn't call you. And I'm like, they messing with my head again. So I just came back inside and just started going back to sleep. You know, um, I put on some um I put on some uh uh another type of a healing frequency for me to listen to. And, you know, every night I, I, I go to sleep, I try to listen to like Bible scriptures and things. Um, so I went back to sleep, right? Um, I just got woken back up from another lucid dream, um, probably sometime around like eight twenty, yeah, like eight twenty, eight thirty, or something like that. But this one, this one was more along the lines of a sexual dream. So it was like they had me um, basically having sex with somebody, you know, and it is it's sad because um, which I'm gonna call it like I know that like like in my past I definitely I definitely was sexually active. I was very very out there, you know, everybody, everybody knows that, you know, I'm like, I was, you know, I, I'm no stranger to like writing erotic poems. And I, you know, I, I wasn't out there just like sleeping with everybody, but it was more along the lines, like, you know, Hey, if, if, if my energy is matching your energy and, you know, we not necessarily like with nobody, I'm, I was like, Hey, what's up? You know, that's just me being honest. That's just me being real. I don't have nothing to hide. So, but I knew it was, it was like, it wasn't like I was, I wanted to do it though. It felt like they were forcing it on me. And then it also was like, it also was like, um, because a lot of the sensory nerves are being stimulated through this you know, I also felt myself, you know, um, like really feeling it, like really feeling myself penetrating and all that. Right. And then just before I, like I, um, they, they forced the, the orgasm or on me, I started to think about incubus and succubus spirits. I started to think about incubus and succubus spirits. And, you know, the sad part is this is some dangerous stuff because, I mean, when you start to learn about these different, you know, deities and stuff like that, and you learn that a succubus basically um, tries to get men to ejaculate because they collect the, um, they collect the, um, they're collecting the, the energy or the, the the energy force from or the, the it's like they're collecting the energy force or they're collecting the um you know uh the life force from your semen when you ejaculate so it's like i was like damn i was trying to catch i was trying to see if i could wake myself up but it was too late you know and um you know, that's pretty much when I decided, I was like, yo, I know a lot of TIs go through dream manipulation, so I'm going to just make sure um, I let people know that, look, we all going through it. We all are experiencing um, these people basically manipulating us, and then they're, they're having a watch party. Like, everybody's live watching all these things happen to us, you know. Um, just always remember... Um, we are living in the physical world, but there are spiritual entities that are constantly moving about in this world. We have, we have, we all have guardian angels. We we just have to make sure we call on them too. Um, you know, guardian angels and ancestors, you know, you are still spiritually connected to those who are not here and on in this, you know, you know, with us physically. Any of those people who 
you know, were when they were alive, they were doing great things. They were helping people. They were loving people. They were protective people. You can still call on them. They can help protect you, at least in the physical world, or, or at least um, maybe they can speak something in the ear or mind of, you know, people in positions of positions that can um, be a help to you. You know, you have to be, and I, and I just got chills when I said that, so I know I'm on the right path. You have to call on them. You have to call on them, and then you can you can basically activate them in a sense. I'm not going to say that they're going to come down and kill your enemies. Well, I don't know if they can, but they might be able to do certain things or cause certain things to happen in their life that might lead to it, but they're not going to be able to like come down and like smite them in their sleep or nothing like that and but you know they can probably cause things that can interfere with their lives you know um because uh like like i said before like um they are they are definitely guardian angels and ancestral um presences of people who you know our lineage our DNA lineage um, is still very much connected to a lot of um, people that are physically not here, but spiritually their presence is, is all around us. We just have to call on them to intercept or intercede into our lives. So um, anyone dealing with dream manipulation, look, I tell you, I haven't really like, well, the only thing I can think of is... Um, um, a T.I. I spoke to, uh, I forgot, I forgot where he lives at. I think he's in, I think he's in California. No, is he in California? No, I forgot what state he's in. I know he's in America somewhere. Robert Stanson, um, call him Magneto Man. Cause he, he like, he does all his videos where he has like, you know, this, this, these helmets, these like metal helmets with the magnets on it and, and he got like this, the, the breast plates and the back plates and all these different things, even like a, a metal plate to, to protect his, his groin area. And he says like, you know, he definitely like, you know, reduced his, you know, um, attacks like astronomically, like, like almost to the point where he doesn't even feel none of it no more because, and then even on top of that, um, he says that, you know, whenever they try to send like a signal or something to like his brain or, or to his chest, he could feel it hit the, um, the, the helmet, you know? And, um, I was talking to him and I was just like, man, like I, you know, I definitely need to make one of your helmets, but I'm just like, man, I can't see myself walking around outside with it all day. Cause I mean, I mean, I want to, maintain some type of no normalcy not to say he's not normal but it's like to just be walking around like <laughs> like 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 you're like you're a soldier in like the i don't know the medieval times like you're ready ready for war or something like that but um i don't know but um uh, i i i definitely need to make me some type of um helmet that can actually at least, at least protect me when I'm asleep. Cause I know when I'm, when I'm, when I'm conscious and I'm awake, I could protect myself better. I could protect myself, um, from most, not all, but most, um, frequencies. Um, but when I'm asleep, that's when we're most vulnerable. So, um, yeah. Uh, what else? And then I, I could probably, I, I could probably try to create some type of um some type of Faraday cage in here. I don't know, cause you know, you see that my bed is in the corner, right? So um Yeah, so um, basically, um, with my hand, I can feel there is a thermal magnetic presence that's here, and it comes all across, right? And then it, it 
it's like it, it it travels or it's probably just like encasing but it's, it's all around and remember the video I, I i talked about the scalar um energy and how it basically encases um like if they like i said if there is an uh, electromagnetic field that's already present when they take the two scalar beams and they intersect on that 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 one electromagnetic field it basically encases it and then what they can do they can either add energy to that that um that electromagnetic field amplifying um the energy presence of that magnetic field or they can extract it or pull energy from it you know so um yeah uh that's that's it for now um i'm gonna try to see if i can rebalance my chakras or something um but yeah uh remember take life one breath one thought one step one day at a time peace